Their more name is Nicholas Rat Crouch. I was over Queensland at the time. My father was over there shearing and I think I might have played up a little bit and been called Rat ever since. <laughs> My name is Charlene Barrett and I've been a carer for six years. Hi, my name is Paul. Uh, I'm well, both 53 and uh, almost 30. Not, com not accumulatively, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I stained my brain injury when I was out roo shooting with some mates. There were three of us work walking through the scrub and I was on the bottom side and the bloke in the middle shot towards me. I happened to look up and I seen all these black dots coming. I was 23 when I sustained my head injury. He took off, he, he didn't just drive carefully, he was just swinging the trailer. And, but I was on the inside at the back so I got thrown the furthest out. And uh, instead of hitting the road I went straight into a con concrete culvert. The accident happened on a Thursday. We were supposed to be in a in, in, uh, training event, but a long distance event. Uh, on the Saturday. So we were right in the midst of, of doing that sort of thing. Yeah, when I go to the football and watch them play footy, I get frustrated because I can't go out there and can only sit on the boundary line and both think to myself, put a bit of effort into it. It's a hard situation. I suppose to let my frustration out now, that's why I go to the gym. This is my reality, which is it's my, my brain struggling to interpret what, what's happening or, or trying to make sense perhaps of being in a, an unplanned chaotic moment. So. I think it strengthened our relationship, um, but it changed it quite a bit, especially in the beginning. And now it's sort of transitioning again. You want to commit to the person, more and, and you've got sort of a vested interest in, you know, I've come this far, <laughs> I'm going to see it through to the end. And so, yeah, I think there is some of that. I was never really that educated in how to do things, so I ended up deciding to, oh, I need to do this, some of these things properly. So I then um, did a, a TAFE course in wood design. I also ended up doing a hue and pine table with aluminium frame. I suppose one thing I have learnt in this journey so far is you don't sort of see your progress from day to day. It's sort of like six months, you look back and think, geez, I couldn't do that. And then you go another six months, think, yep, I can do that now. And that's a bit like going to the gym. I couldn't lift that amount of weight, but now I am. <laughs> <laughs>